Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome. Monday Night Skill Check. This is Blackjack Kent, she of the ever-expanding hairdo, and we are back with more Dark Souls uh, today. Uh, some of you will recall we left off with um, uh, com uh, defeating Ornstein and Smo in Anne Orlando last time, which was pretty cool. Uh, today we've backed up uh, outside of Anne Orlando a little bit, uh, now that we have the Lord's Vessel to do fast traveling. And we're gonna do some work on, um, clearing out some of the other optional areas, getting some more loot and such, and then probably start on getting the Lord Souls, which means we're gonna have to go to fucking Orlando Ruins, which I'm not super hyped about, but gotta be done. Have I already... I already gave him... I think I already leveled my sword up a whole bunch. So I shouldn't need to do this. Yeah, we're at Chuguji Katana plus 10, so we're fine. On that score, uh, so let's go ahead and... Oh, I straight up forgot that dude's there, so we should probably deal with him first, I suppose. My recollection is this big boyo does not respawn after we kill him. My recollection is also he's not as hard to kill as the one in Anne Orlando, so that's good. Boy, your arm is in my way. There we go. Four, five, back, and... Two. Got him! Yeah, not nearly as bad as the Anne Orlando one. I still can't get over the fact that that guy spawned in and straight up just went and killed the Titanite Demon for me. That's still pretty fucking funny to me. Uh, so we're gonna head for Darkroot Basin and I guess kill the... Oh, fuck me. I just remembered I need those, like, what, 20,000 souls to get the crest in order to actually get to fight the four kings, so... Uh... Da! Ah, Jesus! <laughs> I zoned there for a moment. I was trying to remember how everything fucking works in this area. Uh, we're gonna... What are we gonna do? We're gonna do Darkroot Basin first. I think, which is back this way. And, God, I'm once again looking like a fucking ghost on camp. Can you not? I'm talking here. Shut up. Um, but yeah, once again, I'm looking pretty wild on camera at the moment. That's okay. Okay. This game is always a smidge difficult when I... I'm playing during the day and still don't have my friggin' curtains up because it is kind of hard to see exactly what's happening on my screen, which is stressful. I don't think I'm trying to remember how you get down to hit the um, Black Knight that's in this area, but I think that's somewhere else. All right, Darker Basin. I guess we'll just go deal with the Hydra first, and uh... Oh god, no! Fuck you! Fuck you! Hey, I got him! <laughs> hey, Peek! The glare is gonna kill me! It's very exciting. Um, it'll get dark enough soon enough, but... In the meantime, I'm playing with an additional handicap. But it is what it is. Um, okay! How you doing, Peek? Hope you're having a good, uh, good afternoon? Okay, here we go. I think this is where we go down to get the Black Knight. It is! Haha! -ha. Mm -hmm. 
I've been playing a bunch of Bloodborne- Whoa! For some reason I th thought you were further down before you would, like, notice that I existed, but I guess. Let's see if we can back on up here. Um... I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne lately, which has, uh, the... The Y button as the healing button instead of X for a, uh... Using an Estus Flask, so that's gonna... I guarantee you that's gonna fuck me up. At some point. Not yet, though. <laughs> Look at me go. Black Knight Halberd, if that was something I wanted, which it isn't. Um, briefly. Pretty good. As a thought, finding a job right now is tough, especially for something niche like Haskell. Yeah, that would, uh... I hated Haskell when I had to learn it in um, college, so, like, honestly, props to you if you can do it well. But, uh, yeah, I don't know too much about what the job market is for it. What sort of applications is Haskell mostly used for? I legitimately, like, don't know. I We had a, a course in it in my computer science minor in undergrad, but that's the extent of my experience with it, so. Alright, let's go up. Hey, Joe! What is up? How you doing? Alright, so we're gonna go down and deal with the Hydra now, I suppose. And then unlock the Havel shortcut. Because why not? Okay, my inability to see clearly in this area is going to be interesting. But I have faith in myself. I believe! Can't get up that way. Hold on. I know you're around here. There's big assholes in this area, I remember. There they are. Big asshole number one. Redid the low Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Joe. Your aquarium manager game is misbehaving. I really need to play that game, it looks super fun. Oh man, I'm so over <laughs> My equipment is so over -level. I'm not, but my sword definitely is. Alright, let's grab this. Let's see what the... Oh god. Okay. The Hydra has noticed us. Be careful here. Try not to back off the edge of the cliff also. That would be nice. Got him. Use it to build web apps professionally. It's also pretty good with processing big data CLI tools. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. One of these days I'll have to give it another try because I remember hating it in school, but I also might... I also, A, didn't know as much about functional programming in general as I do now, and... Um... Also, like, um, it might not have been taught very well. Mr. Hydra, I'm really gonna have to ask you to wait your turn here. Got other issues. Woo, hello. Fuck you. Mr. Hydro, what the fuck did I just tell you? Alright. It is time for Big Many Snake Boy. Alright, bring it on, asshole. Um, it excuse me. I gotta do to get you to start zooming at me. There we go. There it is. Alright. Early heads aren't too bad. Oop, hello. Excuse you. This is 
where it starts getting annoying. Especially with a short weapon. It's gonna be a bit of a pain. Fuck me. Alright. Fuck. Okay, I hate this bit. I should install those curtains tonight. I sh oh tits. I should, but you know I'm. It's so stupid hot in here. Can I? Oh my god, this sword is so fucking short. This is an uchi katana. It's a katana, but awesome. I mean, it's by which I mean it is. Oh tits! I went too far. God damn it! It'll help with the heat. Maybe. I got so disheartened by fucking one of the holes up that, uh... Now I'm scared to do anything more with it. But yeah, you're right. I should. I probably will try to do it later after I'm done, uh... Am I doing uh, No, I'm doing JavaScript, actually. Uh, React JS, primarily. Um... So I'm gonna be getting getting deep into uh, front end stuff, which I'm really excited about. To be honest, it's the development that I'm most interested in. So that's not the right command for Discord anymore. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. <laughs> do, 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 do. I forgot that I'd set that as an alternate uh, command for the campfire info as well. Okay, try it now. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I've made it too difficult. There you go, try it again, try it again. Although, please feel free to join uh, the Campfire stream team Discord as well, which is where I hang out with other cool, similar streamers. Alright, so... The, uh... Hydra is gonna be a bit of a pain here. Just cause... A, it's annoying to try and hit the uh, necks with a really not very long sword. And also... Ooh, hello. Uh, it's a little harder to see where the hole is in the ground that you can fall through. Woo boy! Alright, well that works. Uh, okay. This is not off to a good start. Alright, that's one head. Motherfucker! I keep falling off the edge! I hate it. Alright, maybe we'll do this later when I don't the glare on my screen isn't quite so bad. Uh then I'd lose a whole bunch of souls that I don't lose. All right, we're gonna go back and try it one more time. Yes, I did die to head. Indeed, the best way to die. Hi, Shiloh. How are you doing? 
Hope you're having a good evening. Hanging in there, hanging in there, except that the stupid Hydra keeps killing me. Which does tend to qualify as a bummer most of the time. <laughs> that dude totally just fell down the hill. Did you see that? He just went zoop. Games are going okay, yeah. In there. This we we only really just started, so. Oh. Well, that simplified things. Motherfucker. <laughs> I hate this fucker so flippin' much. God damn it. Alright, we gotta back up, we gotta back up, we gotta back up, we gotta back up. No, see, that was what I was saying. I keep hitting the, um, the Bloodborne control for healing when I should be hitting the Dark Souls one. Tits. Alright. Alright, let me see if I can avoid falling over the edge this time. Hmm? God. <laughs> I hate these guys. I don't know why he's being so unwilling to friggin zoom like normally there we go I should be doing that I'm doing damage just slowly I legitimately cannot see where the edge is right now at all, but that's okay. It's their head. Woo! Head right in my face, as it were. Excellent. All right, this is going better. Did I get him? No. One remaining head. Come on, get me, bud. Please don't let me fall in the fucking water. You gotta be all the way over there, my dude. I'm so scared. I don't know where the edge is. God damn it. This is probably not going to work, but just out of curiosity. Fuck me. Hold on. What do I want to do? No, I want to do uh, this. that hit it. Mm. This is not working. Ah! 
Oh, fuck it. We're just gonna do it this way. Spam the shit out of you, asshole. It's like, ow, that hurts. Let me stick my head more in front of you. So close. Come on. Come on. Got him! Excellent. Hell yes. I didn't really need anything that he drops. I just, uh... Didn't want him shooting at me while we go and lock the DLC and such. For right now, though, first thing I want to do is go off the water. And we gotta go take on Havel because I, uh, I ran away from him before because I was too squishy. But now I am slightly less squishy and also have a really nice sword. So we're gonna go see if we can stick him full of holes. Uh, da -da 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 this way. All right, Havel. I'm lower on SS uh, flasks than I would like, but fuck it. I forgot you come from behind me. Right. Doing much better damage on him than we were the last time we were here. Just gotta be really careful. Take it slow. Come on. If you're gonna be like that, I'm not gonna play. Thank you. Okay. Got him. I, uh, when I was doing, following a guide to, uh, plat all three of the Dark Souls games. Uh, the guy that I was following, the guy insisted on wearing Havel armor through the whole game. And I did it because it was, I, A, I wanted to try and fight, follow the guide, bleh, follow the guide as exactly as possible, and B, um, I was just curious because I had, I don't tend to play with very heavy armor and I wanted the different experience. It's not fun. Yay! Fuck you, Havel. Uh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. That went much better than our earlier encounter with him. Um, okay. So that's... That's Dark Group Basin pretty much covered. If I remember incorrectly, there's a ladder over here to get up to Dark Root garden, right? Actually, I have those 20,000 souls. So what we should probably do is just go back to Andre and then buy the Crest of Artorias and then go down and fight Sif the normal way by going through Darkroot Garden um, properly. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Which means, tonight, we will be taking on one of my favorite bosses in the first game. And, in my opinion, the saddest boss in the first game. Sif. Great Grey Wolf Pupper Sif. So, back to the end of Parish. Um, but presumably we'll do the Moonlight Butterfly first, since it's on the way. And then we'll do, uh... And then we'll 
will do Sif from there. I need you to sell me a thing, sir. Where is it? There it is. Crest of Artorias. Awesome. Okay, so, Dark Root Garden. Here we go. See how much, uh. How much I can remember about where everything is. Can almost one shot these guys, but not quite. Uh, this also reminds me, since I'm uh, collecting, gonna be collecting uh, moss from these guys, that we need to get back down to Light Town at some point and buy our cool uh, uh, pyromancy spells from Koilana, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I'm gonna have to go back down there anyway to join the Chaos Covenant in order to save Solaire, so. <laughs> oh no, Joe. Rip. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay. Trying to remember how this all works. Starker Garden is one of the uh, areas that confuses me deeply sometimes. With this area over here, and this is where we fight the Moonlight Butterfly, and then we go down the other way and get Sif, if I remember correctly. Dear! I knew that was going to happen, but it still stressed me out. Ow! Jerk. Okay. My recollection is we hug the left hug the left wall here. And that should take us around. That is heckin' rude, Joe, I'm sorry. <laughs> the fuck did you go from? Um we should be able to if we hug the left wall here, come around to the building where the moonlight butterfly fight is. Maybe. Yes. Okay. And also these enormous bastards. Oh. Motherfucker. I have been cursed with the slow. I don't like it. Sir, you're mean. Also, I should have kindled that bonfire, but I didn't because I'm silly. I'm not going to go back just because the Moonlight Butterfly is a really fucking easy boss, especially with a summon, so I'm not too worried, but... <coughs> I'm mostly concerned that the big stone bastards don't get me. Alright, sir. There we go. That was better. Alright. Oh no! I'm dumb! I'm very dumb. I forgot that I am beef jerky at the moment, so I cannot summon Beatrice for this fight, which means we are gonna have to go back. Um, but it's just as well, because that means I can kindle the bonfire, since we'll be coming back there a few times. Uh... 
Um, fuck is the exit? There it is. No, it's not the exit. My bad. A little further down. There we go. Real talk though, the level design in this game, like overall, I like um, DS3 best, but one thing that it never quite mimicked, in my opinion, is the like interconnected feeling of the world that DS1 has, that none of the other two games really managed to replicate in quite the same way. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. Let's go try that again, now that I'm in the right condition to do the Moonlight Butterfly fight. Moonlight Butterfly fight, rather. Can I help you? What? I didn't even come in where you guys are. Why are you being so cranky? There we go. Alright. That. All right, now then. I want everyone to pretend they didn't see me do this before pointlessly, all right? We're seeing this for the first time, it's great. Ooh, ah, Darker Garden. Very cool. Never seen it before. All right, hello again, big boy. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Nice. And you. Nice. Okay, now we should be able to... Yeah, there she is. Hi, Beatrice. You can beat this fight without a ranged damage option. I've done it. <laughs> um, but Beatrice makes this fight just fucking cake most of the time. Ah, right, see this. So there it is. Beatrice, if you'd like to participate at any point, please feel free. Oh, hello. There we go. Beatrice, if you'd like to, like, aim effectively, that would also be great. Wow. Beatrice, I was talking you up about how easy you made this fight, and you were doing nothing. Thank you. Much better. Uh, Beatrice, you are in the way. Lady, come on. There we go. This thing also has, like, no health, which is very, uh, comforting. Wow, that was easy. That was more- <laughs> that was more melee damage than I've, like, ever done to the Moonlight Butterfly. Um, this was not- this is not Sif. Uh, we're going to, uh, finish out the Moonlight Butterfly first, and now we're gonna go back and do the other part of Darker Garden, which is where Sif is. Fucking cake does sound st sticky. <laughs> the crunch strategy also works here. Indeed! When in doubt, stab them in the dick. Stone dick. Yeah. 
Gailey, thank you so much for the reset. Thank you so much. 17 months, thank you very much. Alright, watchtower, basement key. I legitimately don't remember what that does. Oh, you're right, the stream element sub ran out. I will have to fix that. Thank you for noting that, Joe. Alright. Let me see. I can't, what does the basement watchtower? Alright, I don't remember what this does, and now I need to remind myself, so. Dark Souls basement watchtower key. Watchtower basement key, sorry. Um, key to the basement of the watchtower. Unlock shortcut between- uh, Oh! Gotcha. It unlocks the door to Havel, but I have the master key. So. Now, it's true! Now I just gotta gift it a tier 1. A+. plus. Um, I will do that uh, after stream. Um, but yeah, so technically... The main re the main reason we wanted to do that actually was because we got the we also got the ember right that's what we picked up there sometimes I play this game and I'm like I know what's going on but I I don't at all oh, it was the divine ember which isn't really as useful to me as one would think. Nice, good luck with that, Gilly. Okay, Joe. Catch you later. Oh, that was a error. It's fine though. We're gonna go back to the bonfire anyway. Before we go on to Sif. Um trying to remember if there's anything else like majorly of use in this area. Don't fuck! God, my sword is so OP right now, it's kind of sad. Oh, tits. Hi! No! God, I hate these guys who, like, blend into the goddamn... Uh... Underbrush. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Back, 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 back. Excuse you. This is the new challenge run category for Dark Souls, you guys, is playing the game with shit tons of glare on your monitor. <sighs> Alright. Well, I have all fingers crossed, Gailey. Alright. Else is in here, if anything. Hidden path ahead. Alright, oh. oh, I forgot about this. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. These are one of those weird enemies that, like, shows up in exactly one place and nowhere else ever in the game. Life, indeed. My, uh, my brother's gonna be moving out to my city, uh, in July, which is a new development, but also pretty cool. So. I don't remember where I am. This is... I don't know what's going on anymore. Dark Root Garden is a fucking maze. Oop! Okay, I... Now, the place where all these guys jump out of the water, that's where I am. Not overly concerned. Hello. Ah! Excuse you, where the hell did you come from? Uh, 
That was more exciting than anticipated. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Okay. Oh, does this lead out to the... Yeah, okay, okay. No. This is back the way I came. <laughs> uh, I feel like something down there leads somewhere, but I'm also sort of running in circles, so we might just turn around and come back. Lee, what is up? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. Did your landlord, uh, are they moving or? All right, I think this is just a dead end. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you can uh, get set up in a good new situation. Jesus. Okay, no, there we go. We're good. We're good. Everything looks the same in Darkroot Garden. Like, that's why I get fucked up. Oh, nicely. Yeah, I, uh... I need to go put some money towards that, but like, I get intimidated by the idea of having 700 games to sort through. Okay, we are... Where are we? think the exit is back this way... Wait. No, I passed it. I passed it. Fuck you, fuck you. No, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. But I did miss my turn. It's back here. I think? Yes. Ah! Victory! I was not as lost as I thought. Awesome. Okay. Um, we are up to 19,000 souls, so I should probably pop a level into something, huh? Let me get my build calculator up. And make sure I'm putting points in the right thing. But yeah, that's frustrating, Gailey. It's always a uh, difficult when uh, something kind of outside your control is affecting your ability to keep where you're at. All right, I'm thinking... I'll just pop another point in vitality for right now. Okay. Hugs for everyone in the chat. Alright. Let me see if I can do the hilarious cheese strat for these guys. That's right. I see you there. Woo! Hi! Okay, okay, okay. Come and get me, I dare you. Oh no, you didn't fall off. Why didn't you fall off? Asshole. Oh shit, I've been invaded. I've been invaded by someone named Stabitha. Can we not do this right now, sir? Thank you. Oh no! Sorry, Stabitha, I can't give you a good fight because I fell off a cliff. Does it involve actual cheese? Hey, Dorian. Uh, I wish, but no, it involves making stupid people fall off cliffs. 
or stupid AI rather, fall off cliffs. Come and get me! Fuck, why is this not working? Bitch. Usually this is a very plug and play strat, but for some reason it's not working so well this time. Come on out here. That's right, come on out here. And now I'm gonna run back over here and stand right her. And you're gonna try and get me. There he goes. I think I was standing too far in before. Come on. Come on. You too, sir. Or I can just hit you. We'll do that instead. How about that? Nice. Okay. Good shit. Nothing like cheese to soothe an impermanent death. Indeed. Alright. Let's see here. Should have one more dude to fight up here, if I recall correctly. Yep, there he is. I see you. Come on. Whoa. There's two of you, I forgot. My bad. Okay. There's three of you! Fuck me! I have regrets. Whoa, boy. Okay, I need to... Okay. Motherfucker. I thought you were dead! Okay, now you're dead. Woo! Sir, you need to stop healing yourself. That's frankly rude, and you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Uh, <laughs> like, I went for the cheap re-regrets. Uh, sort of, more, more like I could have had more cheese, and I didn't. Like, that's the regret that I'm having right now. And now the cheese that I didn't have is stabbing me. Put your shield down. Jerk. Okay. Whew. That was exciting. Look who we can meet in here, though. Cat! Cat friend. Sure. Yes. The result most heathenish and gross. Then there is nothing more to say about this tedious reckoning. Be gone from here, pernicious Katie. I think I pissed her off. Be gone from here. Oh, all right. I, uh, you have the option to join her covenant here and, like, invade people who happen to be playing in this area. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I'm a sunbro. What a wide mouth you have. Yes, indeed. I can't remember her name. Um, alright, let me see. I can remember. We're trying to get to Sif at this point. Um... There's a dude over here, yep. Right. Oh, there's multiple dudes! Shit! 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 No shit! Oh shit! Very snappy boy! Sure, sir, please. I've grossly, I've grossly miscalculated the situation. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> One shit, two shit, red shit, blue shit. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, let me try that again. Um... Ooh, why did I just turn my back directly on that? Come on. That's it. Come and get me. Come and get me. I dare you. I dare you. Or just sh keep shooting at the rock. You can also do that, totally, for sure. God damn it. There we go. My cheese is misbehaving a little bit, but we're getting there. Eat these invisible motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate that feeling. You just like Yeah, I had a I had a nap um during my week off last week. I took a nap like Thursday afternoon and I woke up about 9 p.m. and thought I had somehow slept all day Friday. Nice, Gailey. All right, let me see. Should be another invisible jerk over here, but I guess not. All right, let's get this guy first this time. Much better. This guy. Try to heal and I will kick your... Thank you. Okay. Alright, moving right along here. Ish. Where did I actually die? It was down on the next level, I think. Yes. See, this time I know you're there, asshole. Try not to fall off the edge, though. So this is what I'm saying about it. literally everything just blends the fuck in in Darker Garden, and it's very stressful. Yeah, very good idea. Try and... Jesus! Hey! He fell off. Neener, neener, neener. Alright. I think... There's other loot you can get here, but I'm gonna be really real with y'all. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna make a run for the other side of this area. Start heading for the boss. Just this way. Really? Really? Y'all really want to follow me this far out? Alright, it's your funeral. Thank you. Alright. That sounds adorable. 
Lady, I'm in favor. All right, this bit sucks, and it's probably really gonna suck when I can't see my screen clearly, but, uh, like, falling off the camera here, too. God damn it. This over some. Oh, fuck. There we go. Woo! All right. It's time for... Rolly Cats. Oh, Lord, they coming. Uh, actually, what we're gonna do is this. Come on. Where'd you go? Ah! Okay. Not the right button. Fuck. Rolly cat. See, I say that, and of course now he refuses to do the rolly attack ever. You guys saw it once, though. Okay, that's one down. Uh, there's the other two. Come on. <laughs> My recollection is they won't come down here. They'll come awful close. See, I can roll too, assholes. Shit. The nice thing is these guys don't respawn, so. Right, exactly. The Rolly Championships. To be honest, they have a more st stylish role than I do, I admit. Oh god. There. Okay. What the fuck was that? That was weird. Alright, guys, it's almost time for the sad boss. Which I don't have as many Estus flasks as I would like for it, but we're probably just gonna give it a go anyway. You can also do this after the DLC, which gives you a separate and even sadder cutscene. But I'm not going to do that because I would rather stick pins under my fingernails than do the DLC this early in the game. Uh, there is, however, a chest over here with important things, if I recall correctly. My recollection is that these little mushroom guys will not mess with you particularly, but the big guys will, so we need to like careful here. These guys will fuck your shit up, actually. I cannot count the number of times I've gotten my face wrecked in by a giant mushroom man. Like that! Okay, we might have to go- Woo! We might have to go back to the, uh... Bonfire before we take on Sif. 
because uh, I don't want to... God, I always underestimate whether he's going to do the, the double swipe or not. These guys hit like a truck, seriously, it's wild. That's one. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Actually, uh I've rambled about this before to some of you, but um, Miyazaki, the guy who uh, is like the the main creative force behind the Dark Souls series, has talked about like what his overall inspiration for the the feel of the game was, and I always think it's extremely interesting. Like he he basically said something to the effect that he grew up with like. Um, Fant like fantasy novel, he had access to fantasy novels, but a lot of them were in English, um, and he didn't speak as a kid very good English. So he could like get maybe twenty five percent of the story, and like he would get the gist of a lot of things, but the um, like a lot of the details and nuance would be would be lost on him, and he would end up using his imagination to fill in a lot of the aspects of the story. And he said that like that's what he was aiming for with the Dark Souls series, that the lore is very like obscure and not very explicit. And the reason is that he's trying to go for that same feeling of like being able to sort of catch a glimpse of the story, but not um not really having uh like having to use your imagination to fill in a lot of the details and stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the bonfire just to tank up and level since we have a bunch of, oh, a bunch of uh, souls to spend. Right? I just thought that was really interesting and I thought he really achieved, achieved that very well um, with these games. All right, we're gonna go ahead and level up. Cool, we do two levels, so we'll do one in endurance and one in vitality. I think I'm feeling pretty good about our damage at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Lore creators are people who like take all the little minute details of the game and uh, dig through it. That's how I originally got into Dark Souls. Actually, was watching like. Fati videos, lore videos on YouTube, and I was like, this is so cool. Maybe I'll actually try and, like, play it. Alright, we're not gonna fight this time. We're just gonna zoom and hope for the best. A surprising amount of problems in Dark Souls can be overcome by zooming. When necessary. When you know where you're going. You can pretty much just... Oh, shit, that was the- okay, well, that was the loot from the guy that we killed who fell off the wall, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now, because, well, for obvious reasons. I hate this area. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're alright. Now we're gonna get chased by trees. Run away from them, too. All right, guys, it's time for Sif, my favorite boss in Dark Souls 1. I'm sure you all will be able to figure out why. At least my character can't get out of breath like Shep. Yeah, well, sort of I can. Like, I have a, um, oh no, okay, <laughs> I almost fell off the edge there. Jesus, that was scary. Um, I do have an endurance bar, and if I, uh, run it all the way down. I can't, uh, 
Like, so if I run, 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 run all the way through my endurance bar, um, it'll take a moment before it'll let me run again while it recharges. But if I stop before it runs out, I can sprint again immediately, so. <laughs> yup. Tears ahead, indeed. Alright guys, here we go. Um... My heart. Seth. Brave doggo. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, effectively get across how sad the late stage of this fight is. Yes! Oh! Mmm, I looked at the chat. That was an error in judgment. Oh boy. Alright, alright. Okay. I gotta I gotta re uh reconnoiter myself here. Fuck me! Wow. I uh let myself get That hit her, what are you talking about? Yes, from what I understand, Sif is supposed to be a she. Fuck me. more trouble with Sif, actually, than I normally do here. Ooh, that was closer than I'd have liked. Hmm. Very acrobatic pupper. Oh, is, uh, is she, I did not know that, actually. God damn it. Right in the nose, pupper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sif, your lore is so sad and I can't do anything about it. Fuck me. Back, 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 back. Oh no, this is where the sads happen, you guys. No! Oh, she's trying. She's trying her hardest. Oh. She's trying to defend her master's grave. I can go into details on the feelsiness of the lore here if you would like, but suffice it to say, she is a good girl and does not deserve this. <laughs> I am never over Sif. Uh, Sif is a good girl. Sif is a good pupper. Best pupper. Uh, anyway. 
But yay, boss battle complete. 40,000 souls, so woohoo! Alright. Cool! So that's that. Um, what am I going to do next? Let's see. The hell am I going to do next? Um, all right. So we got the Covenant of Artorias, which means we can, I believe, go after all of the poor lords now. Is there any sort of quick route back to any bonfire from here? Not really. Um, I'm gonna indulge myself and do a fast travel again. Um, cool. Okay, we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is gonna level up. Uh, I'll go ahead and toss one in here now, and here again, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to ponder on... What else do I want to do here? I'm trying to think if there's any bosses I'm not thinking of besides uh, the Lord Souls. Check, check, check. Don't have any bluff yet. Four Kings. Nito, Seath, and Iceland. Okay. Uh, cool. Alright, so basically at this point, um, the only things that we can uh, really work on doing are uh, the Four Lord Souls. We have the Four Kings, we have Gravelord Nito, we have Seath the Scaleless, and we have the Witch of Isleth. So, uh... Peek, I think you're the only one of my viewers who knows what all four of those things are. But if anyone in the chat has a preference on which one I should do first, uh, please place a vote in the chat. I'm going to get some water and I'll be right back. Okay, I return and we have a vote in the chat for Nito. Great. Gravelord Nito. Uh, so we're going to do that. We will head back to Firelink and we will head down into the catacombs. Excuse me, catacombs of. No! Not catacombs of Carthus. That's DS3. Just the catacombs. And the Tomb of Giants. This is gonna be exciting because I legitimately. <laughs> remember almost nothing about how the catacombs work or where anything is, so it's going to be not a uh, pro run at all. It's going to be very uh, careful and I'll probably die a lot, but that's okay. I also want to double check... How do I... 
upgrade my weapon to plus 15. There's another coal I have to get, but I can't remember which one it is. Or ember, rather. Coal. 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 Again, it's Dark Souls 3. Okay, regular upgrade pass. The very large ember. Which we get from... Uh, new lot of ruins after lowering, lowering the water levels. We'll be doing that until we go after the Four Kings. So yeah, in that case, we will just uh, we will just head off to nope, wrong. There we go. All right. What are you still doing here, dude? Did you really the second bell? That is incredible, man. Wow, we have a new problem. It's noisy. Oh, I forgot! Framped is here now! Holy shit, I totally forgot, like, about Framped and putting the... Well, actually, I guess that means we want to find out which uh, ending we're gonna go for here. I'm trying to remember now because we have two different endings in Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, in Dark Souls Three, there is slightly more. So the uh, the two endings available in Dark Souls One are to link the fire and the Dark Lord. Um, and. I don't know if everyone wants me to go super deep into the lore implications, but the to link the fire means that we link the fire with our own body, provide it more fuel, and continue the, the age of fire of the gods. As others in many cycles have done before us. Or we do the Dark Lord, wherein we turn our back on linking the fire and usher in an age of dark. The Age of Men. Uh, so those are our options. Both are pretty cool in their way, but they do require a decision pretty much right now, I think. Uh, how do you... I can never remember how the, the Dark Lord ending works. So I'm... I'm Time for darkness. Destroy the system. All right, I'm here for it. I am here for it. Uh, so we have to go find Koth, which hopefully it's not too late for me to do that. Darkstalker Koth will not appear if you... Right, so he won't appear if you sided with Framp and place the Lord Vessel. So if we talk to Framp, it's too late. So we're not going to talk to Framp. If you have obtained the Lord Vessel, you can go to New Lado Ruins, talk to Ingward. Ingward will give you a key that will... Okay, so we'd have to do the Four Kings. Okay, so we just don't place the Lord Vessel. And then eventually when we go to the Four Kings, we talk to Koth. Cool. All right. Uh, Heek has spoken. The fate of the world is sealed. Or something. Um, I would really like to become non-beef jerky, but I would also like to save all of my hard humanity for... Uh, saving Solaire. So we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to remain beef jerky. Uh, hey, do you have anything else for me? Uh, mostly things that I will not use, so no. The only pyromancy I'm interested in is the things that allow me to set other people on fire, not set myself on fire. I framped. I'm going to destroy your plans. Sorry about that. Okay! So... The catacombs. As mentioned, I've not done this in a while, so this is going to be an adventure for all of us together. This is always very satisfying, though, when you recall how uh, much bullshit these. Oh shit! I just remembered something, actually. 
I just remembered we probably want a divine weapon for this area, right? Because uh, this is the area where the... You can't kill the skeletons. Not here, but as we go further down, you can't kill the skeletons unless you have a divine weapon. I liked the way that Dark Souls 3 did this better, to be honest. In uh, Dark Souls 1, they respawn pretty much infinitely. In Dark Souls 3, they respawn once. And then once you've killed them once, you can kill them again and they'll stay dead that time. Uh, so maybe we will level an additional weapon and take that to Andre. Uh, so let's see, what weapon do we want to make um, divine? Do we have other any other katanas? So many fishies! Yay! Alright, the only katana we have right now is the Uchi katana, so we're gonna have to pick something else. Dex oriented. Uh, is the Arterius Sword Divine? Uh, it is. That's a boss weapon. Arterius is- or Great Sword of Arterius. I think we have to ascend Sif's soul at the giant blacksmith. Um, I think that's a strength weapon, though, and I'm extremely, extremely dex at the moment. Hang on. Great Sword of Arterius. Uh, ascended, ascension with the soul of Sif and either the broken straight sword or plus ten. Hmm. I think you might be thinking of the cursed great sword of Arterius, which it, Arterius, Artorius, um, which can kill ghosts without a transient curse. But hold on a second. A DS1 divine frost. Oh no, you're right. Great Sword of Artorias is uh is indeed. Yeah, that's definitely a strength weapon though. It requires 24 strength, and I have like what I have? Uh 14. <laughs> so we can't do that. Uh, a store straight sword does. Can I have a store's? I don't have enough faith for a store straight sword. God damn it. How how dare the divine weapons have a faith requirement? Seriously, what the fuck? Um Press an axe. Sold by Patches, who we haven't found yet. I'm just looking at the weapons that, like, have the divine ability by default. Eh, fuck it. I'm, you know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna love a fucking, like, straight sword or something. Hey, brother. I will try. Yeah, most of the great swords are all strength based. Um, but what do, I, what do I have? I have with short swords, a long sword. Am I fight? Oh, you mean... <laughs> you mean Sigmeier. Uh, I'm not fighting him. He's good. This is a good. Sigmeier is the best. Um, all of his storyline endings are sad, unfortunately, but we love him. And he is a good boy. Um, I've already talked to him. I don't think... Oh, there we go. Oh, 
No, but he and I will save each other's lives a couple times, so there's that. He's a good boy and doesn't deserve anything that happens to him. He and Solaire are both my sons and I will protect them with my life. I'm also going to turn my camera up because once again it looks like I'm sitting in a void as the sun has started to go down. Uh, soon, guys. I promise. Soon I will have my curtains up. And have slightly more control over the lighting situation in my apartment, but not yet. Because I'm lazy and intimidated. I can do it, yes! I hope so. <laughs> okay, uh, what was I doing? We might not get to Nido tonight. Today might be Nido prep. Uh, because I need to figure out what I'm gonna do to... Aw. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> it's so much less impressive when the bot isn't subbed. I will definitely need to fix that. Alright. What did I decide I was going to do? We could do the... Yeah, I'm just going to level a fucking straight sword because I know how to use it. It's fine. Just do that. Or I could do a scimitar. Which one has a higher... Scimitar's... And uh, Falchion actually scale better with... Let's do the Falchion. The Falchion scales better with the dex than the Longsword does, I think. C versus... B. Yep. Yay! All the hype emotes! <laughs> Aww. I love you guys. You guys are great. Alright, we're gonna level the Falchion. That's the plan. We're gonna level the Falchion as far as we can. No, we're not going to do that. Sorry. We're going to warp to the Undead Parish, level the Falchion as high as it will go, along the Divine Path, which I think Andre can do. We might have to take this to whoever the fucker is down in New Londo Ruins, whose name I can't remember, because I never talked to him. Um, aha! Yes. Good. Thank you. Awesome. I... Amazing chest ahead. Thank you. All right. Let's talk Felchin. Where is it? Felchin. This is a curtain call. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I've just been feeling a bit overwhelmed by basically everything lately, so it's been a bit of an adventure. This new job started today and it kept me on my toes the whole damn day, too. Alright, modify. No, I want to ascend. Or no, sorry, I want to... No, I was right, I want to... Oh no, I'm just out, okay, never mind. Never mind, I'm out of these thingies. I did! Yeah, I got a new job. Um, I'm now working for Automatic people behind uh, WordPress and actually Tumblr as well now. Though I have expressed interest in working on Tumblr, but I've not yet been assigned there, so we'll see if I end up there at some point in the future. Um, I need a large Titanite Shard, which I don't have. Um... All right, we're gonna go get some large titanite shards from the giant blacksmith, and level this up the rest of the way, hopefully. I'm gonna pop all my soul items for the purpose. Uh, actually, let me double check what I need here before I go spending souls willy nilly. Okay. Um, upgrade standard plus five weapon, divine ember.
Fine upgrade. All right, essentially from regular plus five to combined plus zero. Oh, green titanite. Shit. Does the giant blacksmith sell that as well? He does. Okay, fantastic. And how many of those will we need to get to plus five? Ten. We need ten. 48,000, which hopefully I should be able to get for some, from some soul items, so we should be okay on that score. Uh, cool. This is not where I want to go. But yeah, I uh, spent- I had my first day at the new, uh, new position today, and it was... It was fun. It seems like a good group, but it was clearly very fast-paced at this new place, so it's gonna it's gonna take some getting used to. I have this yeah, this last month I moved, I got a new job. I spoke at a online conference. And um uh, been doing various bits of like setup on the new apartment and everything. It's just been there's been a lot. Been a lot. <laughs> It has been a lot. And there was a pandemic and like the world went nuts. So like, it's just been, it's been a time. Like it's, I mean, I'm very lucky that it's all been very, very good stuff for me. Like the stuff that's been making me crazy has been, been very good for me for the most part, but uh, it has definitely been a lot to deal with in, in some ways. Thank you, Joe. Joe has been my uh, one of my big cheerleaders during this period, and I'm very grateful for it. I really don't want to fight. I just want to talk to the blacksmith. This is not necessary, I assure you. Please, just leave me alone. Thank you. All right. Hello, friend. Uh, all right. I need 48,000 souls. I'm gonna use any of this, but I am gonna use a couple of these. Hopefully, I can get enough that I don't have to grind on stream. That would be awesome. Fine. We're gonna be fine. It's all gonna be good. Thank you, Joe. Hugs for Joe in the chat, please. Ah, oh, shit. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Uh, purchase item. Green Titanite Shard. It's so old. Shut up. Uh, okay. Actually, no. I, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. The giant blacksmith is, is a gentle, good boy and should be protected. Him so much. This is one of the things that I love about this game is like it's such a dark, bleak atmosphere for the most part, and then there's these occasional NPCs who you're just like, I want to hug and protect you, but I can't because everything's awful. 
So that's the Puma solo as well. I mean, kind of. I get the impression that the uh, giant blacksmith is considerably dumber than... Uh, Uh, than Pumatsol, but yeah. Yay! Hugs for Shiloh. This is not exactly where I wanted to be, but it will do, because then we can fast travel back to Andre again and get our divine falchion. What? Jesus. I'm begging you, my dude. I don't want to die here. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I stole that shamelessly from Shiloh's stream, so. Uh, she came up with that idea first, but it's so cute that I had to, uh, absorb it. I don't even need to fight this guy, I just am. <laughs> true fact, yo. True fact. True. True fact. True fact. Alright. Every time I walk in here and Solaire isn't here, it makes me a little sad. Alright. Back to the Undead Parish. Yeah, we'll go down and talk to Alright, now I should be able to yes, divine falchion. And force further. Divine falchion. Plus one, plus two, plus three. Awesome. Okay, so now we have that to fight the... Uh, we'll go ahead and replace this with the, our new Divine Sword for the time being. Shit, Biscuits, I just remembered I don't have a light source. <laughs> um, who do you get cast light from? I'm trying to remember—is that Ulysel or Dusk rather? Cast light uh, acquired from Dusk. Where is intelligence of 14? How dumb am I? Let's find out. 12. Hmm. Alright, so our next goal in the catacombs, I think, is going to be to get our intelligence to 14 so we can cast Cast Light. So we'll go through the catacombs, get that leveled up, and then acquire a... <sighs> staff. Magic staff, um, before we go into the Tomb of Giants. So the Tomb of Giants is fucking pitch black, and you can do it without a light source, because I've done it, but it sucks, and I don't recommend it. So, we're not going to do that if possible. Um, but we do need to level up intelligence by two, and where is my light source? And then the Ulusil Ivory Catalyst, where do we get that? Let's call it Catalyst, not a stack of this back. Ulusil Ivory Catalyst. Uh, oh, Dust is all that too. Okay, that's convenient. 
So that's fine. We'll just go through the catacombs, we'll level intelligence to 14, and then we will um, acquire Cast Light and the Catalyst before we go into the Tomb of Giants. Sounds good. I totally got sidetracked from fixing my inventory. Just walked off without finishing. So let's do that. Belgian. Okay, still fast rolling. All right, off we go. Into the wild black yonder. Oh, you're awake. Hi, Framed. Still not gonna talk to you, but it's nice to see you're awake. Maintaining a good sleep schedule, Mr. Snake. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Carry on. What's that? All right. I don't remember anything about this area, so this is going to suck. For me. Hopefully not for you guys. But for me. I do remember uh, doing this part when I was following that guide to uh, get through. Excuse you. Fucking exploding skull bastards. Um. I do remember doing this part when I was following that guide to plat all three games, and uh, I remember he just zoomed through this area. Oh jeez. Yeah, this this area is kind of mean, because it like, whoa, the level, mm, the level design makes it very possible for you to uh, think that this is where you're supposed to be going first, and it's definitely not designed until you're a little bit... Uh, lower, or higher level, rather. There it is. Fuck it, I'm zooming a bit here, but I don't care. So the sooner we zoom, the sooner we can get rid of this guy. And then I think, now that we've done that, we can hit this bonfire here. Well, mm, we gotta deal with this guy first. But I think at this point, now that that guy's dead, these guys, these skeletons start, stop respawning. But yeah, coming to the catacombs first is definitely a good way to make yourself not want to play this game. Um, it's uh, not an area that is designed for low level players. Although, like people who are very familiar with the game will run it where they do the catacombs first, which is wild. All right, moving on. Like, there's a huge ass circuit you can make through this area and I'm really tempted to just not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Especially because these guys aren't, aren't refusing to die anymore. So. Shit! Uh, where is it? Hey! Ow. This is totally a shortcut uh, that skips a large portion of the catacombs. But I kind of don't care. Oh shit. Wait, no, I missed my... I missed the drop! Where is it? Ow! Fuck. I might have fucked this up. Hmm. It's down it's down there, but I'm getting fucking swarmed here. <laughs> I like how some of the skeletons just like fall off and they just have their arms up like wee. Where the hell is it?
The boat, he didn't jump off, he fell off, but it looked silly. Alright. Um... And now we get to fight what is widely considered the easiest boss in the game. Which is probably a sign that I'm going to fuck the fight up on stream. Uh, especially since I'm coming in with not as many uh, Estus flasks as I would like. But we're gonna do it anyway. Yes! <laughs> Bone! Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. Pinwheel. Nice, Gailey. Glad to hear it. And done. Woohoo! All right, we have acquired the right of kindling, which means you can now potentially kindle bonfires to give you 20 Estus flasks at a time, which is fucking wild. I was actually even faster than I thought I was gonna get through this area, so hey, guess what? The game's super quiet. Um, okay, I can turn it up a bit. This is also just kind of like a pretty quiet area in general. The music in that section isn't extremely loud. I guess I can, let me check something real quick. Oh, that's probably not helping the situation either. There. <laughs> All right, so we've reached the Tomb of the Giants. We don't have a light source. Um, so never mind. We're going to finish out the stream for today by... Oh, careful. Uh, we're going to finish out the stream for today by going back to Darkroot Basin, killing, uh, or freeing Dusk, rather, and then buying some shit from her. And then next time, we'll go into the Tomb of the Giants and fight Nito. I like this plan. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But yeah, thank you for uh, for mentioning that, Shiloh. How is the... Have you? Are you guys... I'm trying out a new audio thing, which is... Uh, NVIDIA has this really cool new audio processing feature uh, that, like uh processes your mic sound before sending it out to like the apps that are using it and it completely negates my keyboard um like i believe i'm i'm currently using my i'm using this input I'm just gonna double check before i make an idiot of myself yeah so i'm like tapping my keyboard right now and i'm told from conversations that I had last night, that it's no longer on at all. And I'm hoping that like the car noise from the street is also not as loud, but I'm not sure. Okay, awesome, awesome. For the car or the keyboard? Okay, fantastic. I'm so excited! Because I know that's been driving everyone who uh, listens to my mic crazy. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're gonna go back to the bonfire, we're gonna head to Darkroot Basin, we're going to 
Please sing the song. Which song? I'm excited that I have a new, uh, NVIDIA has a new bit of software that, uh, interfaces with my mic and completely, uh, uh, completely blanks out my, like, keyboard noise and stuff. I'm so excited! That song, Joe? Alright, we're gonna go... Where's the easiest place to get to... Darker Basin from? I guess it would be... Undead Parish? It's a bit of a run back, regardless. <laughs> Sing the goldfish song. Here's a jingle for goldfish. Baked but not fried goldfish. The tasty snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off. If you know, did you know they're made with real cheese, even though they look like fishies? The snack that smiles back, goldfish. I'm not sure I know that song, uh, Joe, but I could make one up. Like I think I know of it, but like I don't know it enough to sing it. Uh, okay. Whoa. Excuse you, I'm having a moment with my chat, Mr. Tree. Please get off my dick. That's also possible, Shell. That is also possible. I missed my turn. Yes, I did. There it is. All right, going down. Oh, careful. There we go. Going down. On the bright side, this time, A, I can see my monitor better, and B, there's no Hydra here, so... Makes the whole area much more agreeable. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it goes with Dark Souls. What? Alright, let's rough these guys up. I think it's been used for an action scene in some movie, and that's why I'm associating it. That makes sense. Okay. Dusk. Mon ami, where are you? Bring it on, my dude. Woo! Oh my goodness. You have a lot of health, friendo. Oh, not so much, I guess. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Victory! Hi, friend. 
as thou who rescuest me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I cometh from an age long before thine. Your grammar is bad and you should feel bad. Before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Sure. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Okay, bye. Um. Yeah, so that also sets up the DLC, if I recall correctly, when we come back here. To go down and chill with Manus in the abyss. And notorious. So the sad lore that I was talking about. Anybody want a sad lore drop before we end the stream? Uh, wait, shit. Do I have to... Do it? Yeah, so... Sif, the doggo that we fought, um, her master was named Artorius, the Abyss Walker, and he traveled into this land called Ulisil, which is where Dusk is from, uh, who um, uh, were being consumed by the darkness, the abyss. And he was supposed to fight the darkness back, but he was slowly being consumed by it. And he uh, used his uh, shield to protect Sif, um, so she wouldn't be consumed as well. Um, but he got consumed by the darkness and corrupted, and... Uh, he, you have to fight him uh, later. And when you fight Sif, you are basically trying to retrieve um, the, the ring that Artorius had that allowed him to walk in the abyss. Um, and Sif is fighting you because she's protecting her master's grave and she's protecting you. Like, she's basically trying to ensure that no one else tries to walk the abyss again. And... Uh, suffer the same fate that her master did. If you do the DLC where you fight Artorius yourself, you basically the DLC you basically go back in time and you fight Artorius and you have the possibility of actually saving Sif yourself in the DLC. So it turns out that you were actually the person that all these stories about Artorius are credited to. And um, if you fight Sif after you do that, you get a different intro cutscene where Sif clearly recognizes that you're the person who saved her and like recognizes that she knows you, but she still feel is duty bound to fight you and she gives this like really sad howl to the moon before she fights you. It's very upsetting. Alright. Come on, Dusk. Alright, so I need cast light and I need um it is I shall Lucilla and every catalyst. If thou art in I only may the She sounds exactly in retrospect like the firekeeper in Dark Souls 3 saying may the flames mm. may the flames guide thee. I think that's her. Interesting. Alright. Um, cool. I'm gonna fast travel back to the bonfire now. I'm really liberally using my homework bones today for some reason. Feeling... Uh, what's the word? Oh. Okay. Sure, that's fine. I just want to level this and... Alright. So. All right. Um... So between now and Monday, I will grind at least enough souls to level our intelligence to 14 so that we can use cast light. And then we will head down into the Tomb of the Giants to, um, uh, to fight, uh, Gravelord Nido, which is going to be very exciting. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed. We all very much. You're the best. 
Uh, feel free to check out my Discord, exclamation mark Discord, uh, in the channel. Uh, if you want to come chat about uh, gaming and uh, programming and other nerdy stuff, um, it's totally a cool place to hang out, hopefully. Um, and uh, come check out our stream team as well, uh, the campfire. Uh, we have lots of cool, interesting uh, streamers doing fun things across the week. Uh, my next stream will be tomorrow, uh, Multiplayer Mayhem with Wapuga. We're going to be doing some Dark Age of Camelot. So very excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>